This is an example of a connected body problem because effectively we have two bodies connected together. In trying to solve this type of problem, we first of all have to draw free body diagrams for both the objects involved in the problem. So here we have the free body diagram for the trailer. The forces acting on the trailer are first of all the force of gravity or the weight acting downwards and vertically upwards there is the normal reaction force N1. In the horizontal direction, we have the tension in the tow bar, which I've labelled T. Next, we draw the free body diagram for the truck. Again, in the vertical direction, we have the weight of the truck acting downwards and the normal reaction force, N2, acting vertically upwards. In the horizontal direction, we have the force of the engine of the truck, the 20 kilonewton force, acting in the positive x direction, and the tension in the tow bar, T, acting in the negative x direction. Forces in the vertical direction are balancing one another in both diagrams, and so there is no acceleration in the vertical direction or the y direction, and so we only need to consider for this problem the forces in the horizontal or x direction. The resultant force acting on the trailer is just